today's video we're reacting to Godzilla atomic beams and how cool they look and how powerful they are now I got this video inspiration by Riot reacts make sure to check them out in the description and big thank you for the video idea but today we're going to be reacting to them and first of all we got Gojira And the OG, this is this is what started. How can you not put him in S tier? I especially like his watery kind of looking atomic beam. I don't know. I don't know what about it. It looks cool. Next up, we got the 1955. And this is the exact same as Gojira. So I'm putting him in D tier. I don't know. And this goes the same with actually kind of most of them. So I'm gonna put the rest of these ones because they kind of look the same besides the Hanna Barbaro. Hanna Barbaro one, in my opinion, it's way worse than all of them. Like that is, bro, have you seen its atomic beam? The atomic beam is like two centimeters and it is so weak. Like, I'm putting him in, is there one below D? I think this is one of the worst ones. I'm putting this one in D because I would put this below D, but there is no such thing as below D. Next up, we got Godzilla 1984. And I actually really like this atomic beam because it's like a line. Now, I don't know how powerful this actually is. I haven't watched the movie, but just purely of how cool it looks, I'm putting this in a B. I mean, it's not as strong and as like, you know, powerful as a Godzilla beam should look, but it's unique. It kind of looks like Shin Godzilla's atomic beam, but just blue. Next up, we got Manila's. I love this one, man. I don't know whether I should put it at B or A. Because, you know what? I'm putting it at B. It's very weak. That's why I'm putting it at B. If it was stronger, I'd put it at A. Then we got Godzilla 1989. This is when he fights Biolante, actually. And I'm not gonna lie, I really like his atomic beams, especially the entire hazy era. I think their atomic beams are really cool. They're really thick. Like, I don't know how to explain it. So I'm gonna put him in A. Next up, we got the Showa Godzilla one. I think this one is the one that can fly, right? Yeah, for that, bro. He can literally fly using his atomic beam. How can you hate him? Like, come on. Then we got Godzilla Jr.'s atomic beam. Now, I don't know much about Godzilla Jr.'s atomic beam besides from Kaiju Universe, but in Kaiju Universe, he actually has a pretty strong atomic beam. For that reason, I'm gonna give it a B. I think it's a very normal atomic beam. Like, from the video we're watching, it looks, it looks like a normal atomic beam. I don't know. Next up, we got Godzilla 1962, right? Is this 1962 or 1963? I'm putting him in DTR. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm not the biggest fans of the early Godzilla atomic beams because they all look the same and they all deal the same damage. Like, the old atomic beams used to hit Kong and Kong, nothing happened. But once my atomic beam hit Kong, he nearly died, man. Next up, we got Millennium Godzilla. And oh, one of my favorite atomic beams, man, especially... Like, I don't know why, it looks so cool. It looks like it's burning something. Next up, we got Godzilla 1968. Out of all of the old Godzillas, he has the best one. According to the video we just seen, I like his more because it has that bluish tint that we all know and love. Next up, we got Zilla Jr. And I like Zilla Jr.'s atomic beam way more than normal Zilla. Zilla Jr.'s is like greenish and looks really cool. Now, I don't know whether I should put him in B or A. Which one? Which one should I put him? You know what? I'll put him in A and then I'll put Zilla on B because I don't know. His atomic beam is unique. It's green. No Godzilla has a green atomic beam. Then we get Hazy Godzilla. And bro. S tier, like S tier, one of the strongest atomic beams, 
one of the coolest looking it is it looks powerful man i'm not gonna lie then we got the gmk godzilla Now, I'm not the biggest GMK fan, but according to the video, he actually kind of does have a cool atomic beam. Now, I think I'm going to give him a B, because his atomic beam is, I don't know how to, it's like, it's not too skinny, it's not too big, you know what I mean? Then we got Showa Godzilla. I think this is Showa Godzilla, no? Wait, if this is Showa Godzilla, who's the other one? I mean, this is both the Showa series, so I'm going to put him an S tier too. I think this is the Showa one, actually. The other one, uh, which one was the other one? Wait, you know what? I'm just going to put them both in S tier because they both look alike. <laughs> Next up, we got Zola. And I already said this before, Zola's B. His atomic beam is, it's just fire, man. It's like, you know what? C. I just realized it's just fire. It's like the Hanna-Barber one, man. Then we got Snow Godzilla. I'm not the biggest Snow Godzilla fan, but his atomic beam is really cool. I watched the videos and it's so colorful and different. So I'm going to put him an A. Now, I don't know how strong it is. It looks pretty strong. Come on, man. Next up, we got Godzilla 2002. And I'm going to give this guy an A tier because I really like his atomic beam. Actually, you know what? B. He can't be above Millennium Godzilla. He's like a worse Millennium Godzilla. He's, he has a really cool atomic beam. It really looks strong, but other than that, it looks normal. Then <laughs> we got Baby Godzilla. <laughs> you know what? Just because he's Baby Godzilla, I'm giving him a C, man. Like, come on. Next up, we got Godzilla 2014. I'm not the biggest fan of his atomic beam. It couldn't kill Mutos. Like, what? Mutos are very weak. And for that reason, I'm giving him a C. Now, I know you guys are gonna be mad, but I don't even like the color. It kind of looks white. I like that blue atomic beam, man. Then we have Burning Godzilla. And oh my. S tier. His atomic beam nearly destroyed the planet. I mean, that was his nuclear pulse, but still. His atomic beam exploded destroyer. This is a very powerful atomic beam and it looks really cool too. Then we got Final Wars. Then I'm gonna put him in C. You know what? His atomic beam is very strong, but I just don't like Final Wars Godzilla. <laughs> I don't know why, man. It's just... I don't... I'm not the biggest Final Wars fan. Then, Shin Godzilla. Oh, s tier he has so many variations of the atomic beam and it goes from fire to that beam his atomic beam is just the best i think one of the best in out of all of the godzilla one of my fa most favorite then godzilla ultima His atomic beam is very unique. I really like the rings on it. But besides that, his atomic beam looks normal. But because of the beam, I'm gonna give him a 8 here. Because I really like the rings around it. 
Then we got Thermo Godzilla. I don't know if he actually has an atomic beam, so I'm gonna go as Godzilla 2019's atomic beam. I'm gonna give him an A. There's nothing special about it. I mean, it couldn't even destroy anything, you know? Like, I know he was fighting Ghidorah, and Ghidorah is very strong, but I wish it just destroyed Ghidorah. Then Godzilla Earth. I, I love his atomic beam. It's so cool and unique. I'm gonna give it like an... You know what, S. I would have given it an A, but his atomic beam is so powerful. I mean, have you guys watched the anime? When he uses his atomic beam, the earth shakes, man. Then we got Godzilla 2021. He literally dug through hollow earth with his atomic beam. That is the strongest atomic beam we've ever seen in the MonsterVerse. No one can beat it. Now, I hope the next guy's atomic beam is stronger because it is Godzilla 2024. We haven't seen how powerful his atomic beam is, but we got a bit of a snippet in the trailer and his purple one looks so cool. But I'm not gonna lie, I like the 2021 more. So for that reason, I'm giving him an A. I don't know, we'll have to see how strong it is and after the movie, I might change this list, but for now, I'm giving him an A. Just the color changed and nothing much. Then we got Godzilla minus one. You know what? I'm giving him an S tier. I watched his atomic beam scene and he absolutely destroyed Tokyo, man. He, his atomic beam is so powerful and it explodes too. It feels like a mini nuclear bomb, bro. And plus, when he charges up his atomic beam... Oh my, that is one of the best I've ever seen. But anyways, this is my list. Let me know in the comments if you guys agree with my list or if there's anything you would change. But anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you guys like it. Make sure to check out Riot and the original videos in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like it. Peace.